Oh, hello. Right, well, tool just in to give a good checking over. This one's been sent over by the guys at Evolution Power Tools. This model is the R210 SMS sliding miter saw, 210mm blade. It is Japanese tungsten carbide tipped and it is designed to cut through steel, aluminium, wood and plastic or all of the above put together. There's some nice table extensions here that we've fitted on. Now we'll have a a building from the box guide at the end of the video it's probably long and boring but if you need to reference that to find the parts to where they all go you could use that as a guide but I can assure you it's straightforward there's only one place for each thing and yeah it's excellent loving the colors loving the bit of the orange all over with the black it's a nice mix uh, the base is absolutely lovely Looking forward to this, it's got a laser that has, it's powered by the mains, the switches up here for the laser. Uh, I, sh I show you in the video how to install the blade if you've got any trouble with that. Remember it's a counter threaded screw so it's left to tighten and right to loosen. So if you're trying to put the bolt in and wondering why it won't go in, that's why. Right, so we do lots of projects around here and it's always involving plastic, copper, steel, brass, you name it, we're cutting it and I have an abundance of saws, whether it be hack saws, motorized saws, rip saws, you name it, there's just tons of saws and you're always needing another one or you always need to use multiple different saws on a project. This might overcome all of that, so looking forward to it. It's got a depth stop here so you can even do dados and and gouges and rails and stuff inside your wood which is always handy for the projects I do the sliding mechanism is absolutely wicked lovely smooth you got a port here so you can stick your shop vac, your dust extractor your detent here for releasing and letting the saw pivot up of course your lock to tighten everything down here your clamp for your wood Right, let's get it slid back and show you some of its features. Okay, so the saw itself has some detents here which is controlled by a trigger just under the lever. So as long as this is relaxed a bit, so if it's tightened right up, it's locked in place. You just back it off a little bit, squeeze the trigger and your detents will start working. All these detents are at known places like 15 degrees, 22 and a half degrees, 30 degrees. We've got 31.6 degrees, 45 degrees and 50 degrees. Okay, so on top of the machine to raise the saw, you have a detent lever here. You just want to apply some pressure to the handle. The pressure applied, and then you pull your detent out and you let your saw rise up. Now to get the saw back down again, you must always press your safety paddle here for unlocking the guard for it to be able to come back down or else it's stuck. So yeah, now we have bevels down here, which I'll put it down to show you. You have this handle at the back that you would undo, now that allows the machine to tilt and pivot. You have the counter here telling you at which degrees it's being preset at. You also have a little adjustable bolt that's down here, and this detent lever you can use in conjunction to preset so if you want it set at a certain space for multiple cuts you can set it up through that and then it's just quick and easy zapping it which is excellent good for repeatability good if I'm building like I do lots of stuff from go-kart frames and all made of metal wood mixtures of stuff so this saw is going to be ideal now we'll get the laser checked out Okay, so the laser switch is on the top of the machine, which turn it on. Now you can see the laser showing up. I've just checked it out and it comes up perfectly up the right hand side of the blade. Just a smidge past the tip of the blade. So that is going to be good for reference. Excellent. Good that it's not run on battery power, that it's actually run through the mains. So, yeah. Machine is available on 240 volts and 110. This one is 240, which is what my power runs at in the UK. 
Excellent. So it's a very loud machine, so you always, of course, in your safety, in your safety where you're advised to wear your eye protection, of course, your ear protection any time that you're running a power tool, but yeah. Get your sleeping dogs ready for this. We're going to give it a noise test. Are you ready? Yeah, that ain't no silent machine. That means business. It's the sound of power right there. But yeah, it's activated. There's a orange switch up under here. But it can't come down unless you've activated the paddle. You always start your saw, get up to full speed while it's up raised. Don't be bringing it down as it starts or have it down and then start it. It's safer to have it up at the top. Give it a start, bring it down, make your cut, let it stop and then bring it up. Safety is important, remember folks. Don't want to be losing any fingers. Okay, this will be a loud noise warning. This is going to be on for quite a bit, so I'm going to run through some various different things to cut and see if it will actually cut them without a problem. And yeah, we'll report back. So, you want to probably turn your TV down now. <laughs> right, let's get to it. First of all, we've got some laminate flooring. Like butter. And we got a bit of compressed board here. No problems. Get you back a bit so you can see more. We've got some ply board here, quite thick, about 18 mil, 20 mil. I don't know if you can notice, but that laser is perfect. <laughs> Wicked. But one thing I'm noticing straight off the bat when it's cutting it is absolutely everything is shiny smooth even the parts that have been cut off they're all smooth wicked right let's try something bigger let's try a 2x4 Left a little tiny chunk on that one. That was my bad. We'll do that again. Quite a rush it for the noise, but as you can see, mega smooth. That's wicked. I am loving this. Absolutely loving it. Right, let's try something a bit tougher than that. Let's try some screws and some wood. Noisy. But nailed it. Lovely jubbly. That is wicked. Absolutely wicked. So yeah, I never used the dust back on mine, so it's getting messy in here. Let's try some plastic pipe.
Excellent. Looks like desiccated coconut all over the place. Let's have a party. Right. Let's try some metal frame. See how that's going to go down. No issue! Wow! Oh, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Evolution have totally overdone themselves with this one. I love it. Well, they ain't going back now. It's going to be a tough call for anybody to beat this saw for me. This is wicked. That blade is phenomenal. Yeah. I think we better put on some safety gear before we try this one. Let's give it a bash. No joke when playing with metal shavings, folks, so please get your eye protection on. I'm going to stick a glove on as well, just in case. And we are going to try cutting this. <laughs> wow, phenomenal. Guys, I'm absolutely stoked. Wow. Wow, I really honestly expected that to be burning hot. That's crazy. Now, guys, this is why you're supposed to use your dust extraction. <laughs> This is too much fun. Absolutely too much fun. Can you see what this has just made its way through? Yeah, this is thin stuff, but it chewed it up. I mean, the plastic, I expected it to actually start really having a problem with plastic for some reason, but it just went through it like it was butter. Big blocks of wood, including good galvanized screws through it. The other bits of wood, yeah, it was obviously going to cut them, but I'm more impressed on how clean and how smooth the cut is, how straight. But this, come on. I want a round of applause just for that blade alone. This is the blade you're looking at. Steel, aluminium, wood and plastic or aluminium, depending where you're from. Aluminium, there you go. So yes. The laser is perfectly straight, it seems to be honed in perfectly fine, this, the cut is just phenomenally smooth. I am stoked with this, this is a saw and a half. I mean we have lots of stuff, yeah let's, let's chuck a bike frame on it, let's see if it will cut through that nice and easy. More noise, be prepared. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, welding projects are going to be just too easy now, too easy. So guys, sub 100 pound saw, I can't see anything near a range that's even going to come close to this thing. It's a multi-material cutting monster. I mean, to make it through the different forms of wood, but especially with the metal in it, that's definitely not an easy task to do on any blade. But to go cut straight through plastic, other forms of metal, and then basically a scaffolding bar. It's just chopped straight through some thick metal without complaining, without heating up, 
without any dangerous sparks. I mean, I'm inside my hut. I have loads of things in here and the sparks were just very few and in between. So incredible, incredible saw. Like, it's going to have its own permanent space here now, definitely. I make go-karts, make things out of steel, aluminium, brass, wood. We make things out of anything. And rather than sitting for 20 minutes hacking through solid bars of steel with a hacksaw to then change over to cutting something with a wood saw or trying to use one of the motorised saws to cut some smaller piece, this is just going to be an all-in-one system. This is going to have its own permanent space here and this is going to cut pretty much everything I need. Unless there's some speciality thing like needing to stick it on a scroll saw then that's understandable but for any other normal type of cut or angle cut this is going to be the new machine so you will see this in more videos upcoming because this is a multi-material eating monster i'm well happy at this evolution you have done an amazing job at this i must admit i didn't think it would have even chopped through metal nicely let alone a big thick tube that's crazy. So good job for you guys. The development of your tools is incredible. But yeah, so we'll get on with making some stuff. Absolutely amazed at this thing's ability. And yeah, I would recommend this for absolutely anybody. In your workshop, at your work, if you've got several different saws that you chop and change in between, you'll probably find that this can do multiple jobs and you only need the one machine. It's bigger, it's heavier, so, hmm, I don't know. Does carrying multiple things, is that easier than carrying one main unit? Probably not. The wire management's good, it wraps up, it's easily portable, it's, it's lighter than what it looks. It looks like it's going to be much heavier, but no, no, it's lighter. It's stable, it's well balanced, it's tuned in, the laser's correct. I mean, what else can I say about it? Even the lasers rigged into the mains wire, the mains power, rather than running off batteries like nearly every other saw like this I've seen. And it's got some decent power. It's a 1500 watt. This is running on 240 volts. You can get them at 110 volts. So, again, they've, they're paying attention at what their market needs. So, yeah, I'll probably add in some build up videos to give you a bit of a guide. But, yeah, it was long and boring. So, we'll probably add that in at the end. And yeah, let's go and try and make something. Right, so, pretty much at the base here. Lovely looking base. The knob here will be for the front part. Just slot that in there and wind it in. So you can't wind it anymore. Nice and tight, just back it off a bit. And underneath you have the trigger. For releasing to go all the known detents along on the saw, all the different places that have your known degrees, like your 30 degrees, 45 degrees. Now this does have 45 degrees in either direction for your cut, and it has 50 degrees as well for the mitre cuts, so excellent. Right. Now we'll stick our sliding rods in with the Writing around the right way. These have little detent pins coming out here so that when you stick the head unit on, they should lock into place. Right, so this is the head unit here. The two holes in the back. Slot them on, check the holes inside, down in here, for the pin sticking into this hole, which it is a bit, but we'll wiggle it around and see if it's got any more give. Both pins seem to be out and into place, now we can undo yeah, and we have the slide in motion. So that's what tightens and keeps that in place. And next we'll have a look over the saw. 
Okay, so while the saw is down like this, we do have a detent pin over here which will let the saw raise. I just want to let you see what I was pulling at. So push the saw down, click it, let it rise up. And always remember to start your blade and let it get to speed when it's up high. And when you bring it down, you let it stop. Now, over here it does have the holes in the back fence here so you can put your own fences on does have a movable side here for when you're doing your bevel cuts. Excellent. It has a hidden allen key down here in the back. I'll show you that. Just hidden down in the frame here. Excellent. Always good to have a little place to hide something. It's not magnetic, a nice hidey hole like that. Excellent. Good job, Evolution. Now we do have a multi-placed clamp and there's lots of detents all over the place to put it which is excellent because I'm always sticking funny shaped things on that isn't really designed to sit on a flat bed right now we'll get the blade in okay this is the baby it makes the magic happen nice fancy shaped blade here Japanese tungsten carbide tipped it's good for cutting through steel, aluminium, wood, plastic, or a mixture of all of the above. Now, to get your blade in, all you want to do is take your allen key from the back, and you need to realise there's a detent lock like any grinder. Where are we? We're up in here. This thing here is a detent pin. You want to push that down, which will lock the arbor in the middle. Right, so... Hold the detent in and find it till where it locks and remember it's right, it's clockwise to loosen it and anti-clockwise to tighten it. So it's not righty tighty lefty loosey. It's righty loosey lefty tighty. Right, now we want to hold the flap in, bring up the guard, let go of the flap and you can just hold it with your finger up there if you want. And you want to slot the blade in at an angle. It gets up there and you can release the guard now and hold it in place. You get your other part, it's raised on the outside and cupped on the inside. It's the cup side you want against the blade. Now it has an oval bolt hole so it'll only really go on one way. And remember when you're sticking it back in again, don't try turning it right to tighten it, turn it left catches you out. You could be sitting there screwing it in for five minutes thinking the bolt doesn't fit. But yeah, so that's in there a bit snug. One on, so we're going anti-clockwise to tighten it, but we need to make sure the detent is in. Spin it until it locks, and then just tighten it up. It doesn't have to be well over tightened, but yeah, make sure it's nice and snug. But, so that's it, and yeah, of course, Always make sure it's not plugged in when you're doing this work. Now as you can see here, it also comes with its own set stop, which is really good. Because if you want to do like dados or chomp rail sections into wood, oh this is the machine for doing so. But yeah, well, let's get on with it. Let's see what it does. Okay, so when it comes to adding your little extensions here, you, your allen key has a smaller allen key size on the end, so you just want to undo those bolts that are already pre-tapped into the frame. And you can just slot that in place, re-bolt it back down again. Nice and simple, no drama. We'll get that done, both sides. Okay, next up is a cable tidy clip which is going to go on the back like so with a fin facing off at the back. We've got the saw up as high as it'll go so that it's taking up as much wire as it'll need. And we're just going to line it up basically. Pop the wire inside there, stick it on and use the screw supplied with the allen key. It's just as easy as that. That's on. Now we have somewhere to wrap the cable around. Oops. Accident. 
So if you're transporting it or you just want it tidied out of the way, you also have a little clip on the cable here to hold on to the wire to stop your plug from bouncing about and everything. Lovely and neat. Right. Let's get this thing. Yeah, so there you go. Sub £100 got a three year no quibble warranty. That alone has to back it up and they stand behind that. This company's been around for a while. They've got an extensive tool range, you should check them out. They're all made of good quality materials. They'll have all the extra fixtures, fittings, add-ons, all the handy stuff that's needed in a model. They seem to have it incorporated. Things like the laser running off the mains power rather than the battery. It doesn't sound like much, but when you're doing speedy jobs, having that laser helps. And if you haven't got a stack of those little batteries around, then it's useless. But yeah. This so will be more than adequate for my up and coming projects, various metals and woods and all sorts of frames, so keep your eye out. I'll have some videos of projects up soon with this multi-material eating monster. This will be running the show. Everything will be really fast, really quick, nice clean angles, clean cuts. Hardly any prep by the time I need to do stuff, so yeah, absolutely no complaints. So you should check them out. I'll have a link in the description of the saw and other things that you might need to know. I'll put some specs and size of cuts and stuff in there. So if you want to check it out, the information will be there. So yeah, look out for another video. We'll have some projects on specifically made on the miter saw. Bye for now, guys.